In a large growing facility, your plants might be grouped together in different zones, with each group of plants being in different growth stages. Trial Master's HCS2 controllers' advanced features like group control and spectrum group control allow the user to independently control the intensity and spectrum of light fixtures in different grow zones by grouping think grow LED lighting fixtures as separate groups of lights, with each group having the capability to be controlled independently. These two advanced features only work with think grow LED, with the spectrum group control only being accessible on the Plus series of think grow LED. First, Let's talk about how you can group your lighting fixtures for these two advanced features. You will first have to set the grouping on the lighting fixtures themselves. For multiple bar think row LED, press and hold on the knob for around 5 seconds, and then turn the knob to the right for the group 0 to 9, and turn left for negative 0 to negative 9. The positive group numbers are for the light group control grouping, while the negative group numbers are for spectrum group control grouping. When you've reached the group number that you like to set the lighting fixtures to, Press the knob again to confirm. The lighting fixtures will then be assigned to that group. For single bar think row LED, you must use an LMA G adapter to set groups. You will need an individual LMA G adapter for each group. For example, if you want to set three groups of lights, you will need three LMA G adapters. For light group control, press and hold the addressing button on the LMA G until you see a number blinking on the screen. Then press the button repeatedly until you reach the number you'd like to set the light fixture to. For spectrum group control, keep pressing the button until screen reads spectrum group. You can then repeat the same steps to set your spectra groups. Let the number stay on the screen for a second to confirm. You can find both the light group control and spectrum group control features in the advanced features tab. Tap the advanced icon to access the advanced features on the HCS2. First, let's talk about the light group control feature. Tap enter to access the light group control setting page. You will then see 10 groups labeled as group 0 to 9, with each number representing each group of lights. Tap enter on any group to access the light settings associated with the group, and then tap enter on the line 1 setting. Line 1 is where you will set the full spectrum channel on the ThinkRow LED. You will then see an easy to read line chart on the tablet screen which represents the line 1 light settings. If you'd like to see a tutorial on using the line chart to set up your light schedule, you can check out this video by Trial Master. You can also switch between the line 1 and line 2 settings. Line 2 settings are going to allow you to set your supplemental deep red or far red channel on the ThinkRow LED. Once you set the line 1 settings, if you'd like to make changes to the line 2 settings, tap on the back button and then tap enter on the line 2 setting. You will enter the line 2 settings like you did for line 1. You can apply these settings to the other groups of lights you have and set them up with your desired specific set points. In order to activate this advanced feature, go back to the advanced features window and then simply tap on the on button. This will turn the group control feature on and turn off the manual light settings icon on the left side of the touchscreen. Now let's talk about the spectrum group control feature. The ability to control up to 10 separate groups of spectra in a single grow environment is perfect for customers using multi-level racks and plants in various growth stages, or to adjust ideal light recipes within a large space with precision control. Navigate back to the Advanced Features page. Tap Enter to access the Spectrum Group Control setting page. You will then see 10 groups labeled as Groups 0 to 9, with each number representing each group of spectra. Tap Enter on any group to access the Spectrum settings associated with the group, you will then see a spectrum simulator shown on the screen. If you'd like to see a tutorial on using and adjusting spectrum control, you can check out this video by Trial Master. You can apply these settings to the other groups of spectra and set them up with your desired specific set points. Each group of spectra can have their own individual spectrum settings. Once you have completed your desired spectrum group settings, you can activate the spectrum groups on the HCS2. To activate the spectrum group control feature, go back to the advanced features menu and then tap the on button. Once the Spectrum Control feature is activated, the original light schedule and some of the other advanced features will be grayed out so that no manual changes can be made. The four individual Spectrum Control work with only ThinkRow Plus LED fixtures. The rest of the ThinkRow LED come with predetermined full spectrum and deep red or far red settings. In order to build a solid connection between the light fixtures and the HCS controller, you will first need to connect Trollmaster's LMA-T adapter to the controller, and then use our splitter hub to connect the LMA-G adapters to the LMA-T adapter. 
You can then connect the LED fixtures to the LMAG adapter to control the fixtures. You can connect multiple LMAG adapters, and each LMAG will be controlling a single string of LED. Through this setup, you will get full access to the lighting functions that come with the HCS controllers. Remember, each group of lights can have their own individual settings. You can assign 256 single bar LED to each individual group. However, if you're using ThinkGrow multiple bar LED, the group control feature allows a total of 256 fixtures in combination with all 10 groups. You can monitor your lights and other devices by using the free TM Plus or TM Plus Pro app on your phone and on the web-based software at pro.trawlmaster.com.